In this video, we will set up our own Discord bot dashboard and customize it. So this process will also work with Discord bot lists and any of my other projects. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna use three things for this video and the links are in the description, gitscm.com. And then we're gonna use Visual Studio Code for editing the bot and running it. Then we are going to use MongoDB Community Server Again, the links are in the description. Hello there. So what we're going to do is we're going to open CMD. First things first. Well, we're going to make the dashboard and we're going to make the bot. Change directory to desktop, CD desktop. We're going to clone two things. We're going to type git clone 2pg, github.com 2pg. We're going to install bot.git. What that's going to do is it's going to make a folder called bot and then it's going to install all the files from this URL into that. We're going to do the same thing with the dashboard. So dashboard.git. Okay. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to start with the bot. We're going to cd bot and we're going to npmi. And this will install all the packages required for the bot to run. Okay, so once that's installed, we're going to type cd dot dot. So we change directory up a level into desktop. Now we're going to go into dashboard and we want to npm install in this one too and that may take a while so once that's installed what we're going to do is we're going to open both of them so we type code bot and and code dashboard so do this then do this okay so we're going to have bot in this window we don't need cmd anymore let's press Control shift back tick to open the terminal or go terminal new terminal let's type mongod to start the terminal select default shell you can use cmd if you want we need to create a file called .env and in readme.md what we do is we get these and put it in there there we go we actually don't need these ones for this video the process is pretty simple so Let's go into Discord Developer Portal. Okay, so we're going to get the token. We're going to paste that in. In general information, make sure you make a bot in the discord.com slash developers. Go there. Make a bot application. Go to client ID. Paste that in. Bot ID there. Client secret. Paste that in there. We don't actually need owner ID. It's optional. And everything else is filled in for us. Localhost 4200 references this. Make sure you type ngs for angular serve. It starts a server on port localhost 4200. An API URL refers to this. We can type npm run dev and that will start the bot. So it says if everything goes well, it will say API is live on port 3000 connected to database. We can connect to localhost 3000. This is the built server, so what built means is it was built by Angular. And this is the customizable one, because you can actually edit this one here, it's very hard to edit. If everything goes well here, it says compiled successfully, which means Angular started. Localhost 4200 starts. Okay, so if you want to log in, make sure you have localhost 4200 slash dashboard and localhost 3000 slash API off. You need these two to locally log in, otherwise it won't work. Also, make sure the API URL and the dashboard URL are very similar to this. The only difference here is it has slash dashboard on the end in redirect URLs. And most importantly, you can go into home component.html, control P, type home component, and you can type customized or something. You can customize it. There we go. And you can actually deploy this by typing ng build prod. So what ng prod build prod will do is it will build, it will compile everything here into a folder called dist, which stands for distributable. Okay, so another thing is in home component, you can actually change this image to any URL and it will show up here. There we go. So we also changed that. Okay, so when that's done, type explorer dot to open file explorer. So this is in the dashboard. Go into dist. 
2PG dashboard, browser. Okay, so we're going to select all of this, Control C to copy it. Okay, so now you may notice in the bot project this time that there's a folder called the same folder name. So let's reveal in File Explorer for this folder. Go into it, browser. Now let's delete the old dashboard and throw in the new built dashboard. Now let's see what happens when we go there. Customize, there we go, we've customized our own dashboard. There we go, so this is the built dashboard. If you want more of these, more projects to host, I have many projects. Otherwise go to discord.io slash if you need support with this anyway. Thanks for watching.